हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जब भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदे गोटे इंपोर्टां जिनस भिडज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडभांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूसन प्रति भिडज पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकू ड्रप डाउन लिस्ट रू तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जाए प्रति भिडज को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलबस सजे रखी थी तुम सर्च कर ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज टपिक एप्लिकेसन अफ स्क्रडिंगजर इक्वेसन फर द पार्टिकल इन ए पोटेनसीआल बक्स ये विषय में पढ़ा सो so, एथिरे आमे दुईटा केस देखिबा फर्स्ट टू डाइमेंशनल बॉक्स रे देन थ्री डाइमेंशनल बॉक्स रे सो एक्चुअली द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ऑफ क्वांटम वेयर इज एनालॉगस टू द केस ऑफ पार्टिकल इन अ टू डाइमेंशनल बॉक्स प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द कन्फाइनमेंट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू रिमेंबर इन केस ऑफ टू डाइमेंशनल बॉक्स द कन्फाइनमेंट इज अलोंग टू डायरेक्शन एंड द पार्टिकल इज फ्री टू मूव अलोंग वन डायरेक्शन सो फॉर दिस लेट अस कंसीडर अ टू डाइमेंशनल बॉक्स एज शोन इन फिगर and let us say that the confinement is along y and z direction right and the motion of the charge carrier that is the particle is free along the x direction okay this is the x direction now the potential vr is written as a sum of two dimensional confinement potential in the y z plane right this is the y z plane plus a potential along the wire that is along this x axis right so we can write vr equal to v1x plus v23 of yz similarly the wave function can be written as psi r equal to psi 1x into psi 23 of yz hence the time independent schrodinger equation which is minus h cross square by 2m into del square by del x square plus del square by del y square plus del square by del z square so this is simply your del square right the laplacian operator plus the potential v whole into your wave function psi which is equal to e psi okay now putting the value of v and psi from equation 1 and 2 above in this equation 3 we can have this much right after putting the value of v and psi right now writing this energy e to be equal to e1 plus e23 and noting that the fact about the potential which is zero everywhere inside the box okay so that v1x is equal to zero then equation 4 will be equivalent to two equation which are h follows right so the quality dueta equation ame pauchu minus h cross square by 2m d square psi 1x by dx square which is equal to e1 psi 1x and the second one is minus h cross square by 2m del square by del y square plus del square by del z square psi 2 3 of yz plus your potential v 2 3 of yz into psi 2 3 of yz which is equal to e23 psi 23 yz right so let us denote these two equation as 5a and 5b now equation 5a may be written in the form d square psi 1x by dx square plus kx square psi 1x equal to 0 and here kx square is simply 2m e1 by h cross square so it is a very simple equation having plane wave solution which is given by psi 1x is nearly equal to exponential function of i k x x okay and here k x is the particle momentum along the x direction in which it is free to move with energy e1 equal to h cross square k x square by 2m remember this h cross square k x square is similar to the momentum p square 
so momentum p is equal to the product of h cross and kx right now to solve the second equation that is 5b the potential v23 of yz has to be in the form v23 equal to 0 when the particle is within the boundary 0 to b and 0 to c having y and z value that is 0 less than y less than b and 0 less than z less than c otherwise it will be infinity okay now outside the box the wave function psi 2 3 will be 0 why so because the particle cannot be outside the box okay you have to consider the particle only inside the box right thus within the box that is inside the box equation 5 b in the light of equation 8 that is this boundary condition will reduce to this much minus h cross square by 2m then del square by del y square plus del square by del z square into psi 2 3 of yz which is equal to potential because 0 equal so e 2 3 psi 2 3 yz ok now let us apply the method of separation of variables ok let us say psi 2 3 yz equal to psi 2 y into psi 3 z and similarly e 2 3 equal to e 2 plus e 3 ok and using these two facts the equation 9 can be broken into two equations ok by separating the variables ok as you can see this is the first equation in terms of y this is the second equation in terms of z ok now these two equations can be written as d square psi 2 y by dy square plus ky square psi 2 y equal to 0 where ky square equal to 2 m e 2 by h cross square and similarly d square psi 3 z by dz square plus kz square psi 3 z equal to 0 where kz square equal to 2 m e 3 by h cross square ok so we have got the similar format as in case of your x direction the first case ok so both these equations are similar to the Schrodinger wave equation in case of infinitely deep potential well and they will have the same boundary conditions ok so the standard boundary condition of the wave function being continuous at the walls of the box and it implies that the product of psi 2 and psi 3 must vanish at the walls right and these boundary condition when you apply them to the equation above equation 11a and 11b will give you the normalized wave function as we have seen in case of infinite potential well in the previous class that is psi 2 y okay having the quantum number n y which is equal to square root of 2 by b sin n y pi y by b okay and here n y equal to 1 2 3 and so on similarly psi 3 z having quantum number n z is equal to square root of 2 by c sin n z pi z by c and here n z is also similarly 1 2 3 and so on right therefore psi 2 3 of n y n z you can write it as the product of psi 2 and psi 3 okay so this will be the value of psi 2 3 and as it is clear from equation 12 that the quantum states in a quantum where are described by two principal quantum numbers that is n y and n z okay you have n y and n z in this psi 2 3 okay so the energy levels of the quantum where now will be e n y which is equal to pi square h cross square n y square by 2 m b square and e n z equal to pi square h cross square n z square by 2 m c square okay hence the energy which is associated with the particle in motion in the free direction that is x direction will be e k x equal to simply as we have already derived h cross square k x square by 2 m right then we can have the total energy total energy which is the sum of e x e y and e z ok hence in case of quantum where the total energy of the particle is this much this is e x this is e y this is e z 
right thus the energy of the particle along the confinement direction as it is the case of your y and z direction in this case is discrete okay this is discrete values and it can have any value along the unconfined or free direction that is here the x direction it can have any value now the total energy of the particle in a quantum wire is not discrete further the energy eigen value in case of quantum wire increases for decreasing size okay you can see the factors b and c these are the sizes as you decrease their values the total energy will increase because they are in the denominator right similarly you have mass m in the denominator so as you decrease the mass that is for the case of lower effective mass it can also result in larger value of energy eigen value okay for a given size of the box so this is the case of two dimensional box now let us see the case of your three dimensional box okay application of schrodinger equation to a particle in a three dimensional quantum box okay so this is the case of quantum dot okay from the confinement point of view now we have to consider a cuboid quantum dot or quantum box as shown in figure okay this is having sides a b and c right now spherical quantum dots actually they require numerical solution of schrodinger equation and the quantum box is a generalization of a quantum wire of a rectangular cross section right now here there is additional confinement that is along the third direction which is x direction remember here this is the x direction okay this one this is the z direction this one and this is your y direction okay and the potential is infinity outside the box and it is equal to zero inside the box right so we have confinement along all the three direction okay so in case of your x direction also we have for zero less than x less than c the particle is confined right thus the particle has no degrees of freedom in its momentum okay and it is now localized it cannot move freely okay it is localized in all the three direction okay hence it has discrete energy states associated with all the three directions of motions okay now we can have the potential which i have told it will be zero inside the box and infinite everywhere outside the box right so in terms of boundary condition we can write the potential v x y z to be equal to zero when it is inside that is zero less than x less than a zero less than y less than b and zero less than z less than c otherwise it will be infinity or infinite okay now the three dimensional time independent schrodinger wave equation within the box that is v equal to zero we can write it like this okay as you have wrote in case of your two dimensional case okay this is your first term and the potential as it is zero and the total energy term along with your wave function which is a function of x y and z right now the wave function can be written as a product of three wave functions that is psi 1 psi 2 and psi 3 which are functions of x y and z respectively and similarly the energy total energy can be written as a sum of e1 e2 and e3 okay which are the particle energy along the x y and z directions respectively now using equation 3 and 4 in the schrodinger equation that is equation 2 we can then separate by making the separation of variables and we can have this format minus h cross square by 2m d square psi by dx square which is equal to e1 psi x actually this is psi 1 right similarly for the case of psi 2 having y and psi 3 having z okay so these are three sets of schrodinger equations 
okay and these are identical for the case of particle in a infinite potential well okay so we can write in simple form okay by making substitution of kx square ky square and kz square okay as we have done before okay so the boundary conditions are now the wave function which is equal to 0 at the boundary that is x equal to 0 x equal to a okay similarly psi 2 will be 0 at y equal to 0 y equal to b and psi 3 equal to 0 at z equal to 0 z equal to c okay and the normalized plane wave solution as we have calculated for the case of infinite potential well okay so for above equation by using the boundary conditions of continuity of wave function we can obtain psi 1 x okay having quantum number n x is equal to square root of 2 by a sin n x pi x by a similarly psi 2 of y having quantum number n y is equal to square root of 2 by b sin n y pi y by b and finally psi 3 z having quantum number n z is equal to square root of 2 by c sin n z pi z by c okay these are the wave functions similarly the energy eigenvalues we can have e1 n x equal to h cross square k x square by 2 m which is also equal to pi square h cross square n x square by 2 m a square okay and here we have put the value of k x to be equal to n x pi by a okay similarly e2 of n y and e3 of n z can be obtained like this so the complete eigen function can be obtained in case of your quantum dot or particle in a quantum box that is psi of x y z which is the product of psi 1 psi 2 and psi 3 so putting the values we can have the final result as square root of 8 by a b c into sin n x pi x by a sin n y pi y by b sin n z pi z by c so note that it involves the three principal quantum numbers that is n x n y and n z having values 1 2 3 4 and so on okay and the total energy eigenvalue for the case of your corresponding eigen function can be obtained as e n x n y n z which is the sum of e1 e2 and e3 so putting these values we can have the final result pi square h cross square by 2 m into nx square by a square plus ny square by b square plus nz square by c square okay clearly from this equation number 10 the total energy of a quantum dot that is e nx ny nz is a function of nx ny and nz so it depends upon the three quantum numbers so this energy is discrete okay now the striking difference between the case of quantum dot and that of quantum well or quantum wire is that in case of your quantum dot the total energy is quantized whereas in case of quantum well or quantum wire here the only energy which is associated with the direction of confinement is quantized okay so this quantization features is typical in case of your atoms therefore quantum dots or quantum boxes are sometimes referred to as artificial atoms okay and finally a remarkable feature of a quantum box is that when two or more of dimensions are same okay suppose a equal to b hegala then more than one eigen function corresponding to the same total energy okay so such eigen values are called degenerate eigen values and the number of eigen functions corresponding to it is called the degeneracy of that energy level and this degeneracy results from the symmetry of the structure okay so this is all about the application of schrodinger wave equation to the case of particle in a potential box thank you